Hello my beautiful Libras and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to see, sorry I need to like paint my nails like, today we're going to see what is coming towards you family, lover, friend or foe. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments and subscribes. I appreciate you guys. If any of you would like to book a parcel reading to purchase anything or to make a donation to the channel, all info on how to do so is in the description box below. Please remember that the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So only take what resonates, feel free to switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you gotta do and leave the rest, okay? So my beautiful Libras, let's see. So I'm hearing like it's so lucky, like you're so lucky to be a Libra. Like you have no idea, okay? You just have no idea, okay? You should feel very lucky if you're a Libra. Watching this or if you have any, um, <coughs> excuse me, Libra placements. One second, guys. Like, Libras really are the best, you know. <laughs> like, we just are. Like, I'm sorry to say it. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. You are really, um. You are really, like, the divine's favorite. Like, you really are Libra, okay? You really are, okay? Hold on a moment. I just remembered something. Okay, one second. Sorry, I forgot. I have like six holes, but I never wear them. So I don't have enough earrings. There we go. Okay, I feel better now. So my beautiful Libras, let's get into it. What is the overall energy for you today? What is the important word that you need to know for today? Okay. Oh, beautiful. We have oh so fantastic. I'm telling you. You're fantastic, Libra. You are fantastic. It's fantastic to be a Libra. I also feel like you might meet a Libra and you're like, oh my goodness, you're a Libra too. Like, ah, it's Libra gang gang. Okay, but something fantastic is about to happen, okay? I feel like this is how someone feels about you as well, that you're just amazing. You have fantastic ideas, okay? You could be feeling very creative as well, very colorful. And then we have oh so moody, yeah. So with the oh so fantastic and the oh so moody, I feel like you are in a fantastic mood, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Or something is going to happen that is going to make you feel fantastic because you are just so unique, Libra. And you just have to understand. You have to understand how unique and how privileged you are, okay? Also, there could be people around you that's like in a mood. I feel like you're, you're going to find that you're going to feel a lot better and everybody else is going to start feeling some type of way because they're just not a Libra. You know what I mean? I just have to say, okay, but it is what it is. Let's just, let's just pull another card, okay? We don't want to leave moody at the bottom of the deck. And then we have oh so clever, beautiful energy. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, you're going to come up with a clever idea. Um, that's, like, that's going to give you fantastic results, okay? Whatever this idea is also, make sure or not keep it to on yourself, okay? You can't be giving out your creativity to other people, Libra. You just can't, you just have to keep some things under wraps, Okay. Oh, so lucky. What did I say? Like, you are so lucky to be a fucking Libra. Like, you know when you're just on point? I'm just on point, mate. I'm just on point. I'm feeling really good myself today, okay? So for some of you, you could just be feeling really good. Wake up in a great mood. Maybe great things are happening, okay? Beautiful energy, but oh, so lucky. I feel like you're very lucky, Libra. And like I said, <coughs> excuse me, um... <clears throat> People are very lucky to have you. They're very lucky to be in your life, okay? You are Lady Luck. Or if you're a guy watching this, Mr. Lockyman. I just heard Mr. Lover Lover. Okay, it's a beautiful energy. Sorry, guys. I hope you guys are not seeing my coochie. Now, I mean, it's weird sitting here, like, with this outfit. Because, like, normally I'm over there and you can see my socks. So, I'm really upset that you guys can't see my socks. Because you have to see the whole outfit, mate. You have to see, you have to see the rainbow, you know what I mean? But anyway... So, yeah, I'm feeling really positive. I knew your reading was going to be a good reading or it's going to have good energy. So, your luck is about to change. You may see rainbows as well. That is um a confirmation. Okay, so beautiful energy, my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Libra gang, gang, Libra gang, gang. Honestly, you know what I mean? Told you, you're very lucky to be a Libra, you know. You're very lucky to be karma. Okay, you're very lucky, okay? Sometimes it doesn't feel like that, though, because we do rule open enemies. And, you know, you tend to find that, like, um, admiration, like, turns into envy real quick. There's a very thin line. 
So, you know, a lot of your friends and your lovers, even family members, they, they basically are undercover haters because, you know, they're just not a leap right now. Me, what can I say? <coughs> Unless your family member is a Libra, then they're not a hater. Like, my brother is a Libra. He's not a hater. Okay, so we have the thick and the healthy. Good news, good health and expansion. Listen, I'm telling you, darling. I said that you're going to get some fantastic news. Something is growing. This could be your hair. This could be your business. This could be your ideas. Okay, you could be growing. Parts of your body could be growing. I mean, a booty could be growing. A titty them could be growing. I mean, we don't know. Beautiful energy. If you're a guy watching this, it could be your muscles. You know. <laughs> okay, but something is growing. For some of you as well, good health as well. <coughs> Says the sick person. So you're going to recover from something. You're getting good news about your health. Yes. The redhead, it says feisty, sexy, and passionate. I'm telling you, I feel like you're going to be feeling really, really sexy, Libras. You could be getting a lot of compliments as well. Okay, so beautiful energy, okay? Or you're following your passions towards something. Your passion is being ignited, okay? So beautiful, beautiful energy, Libras. I just knew it. I just I just felt something positive for you guys today. I just felt it. Oh, well. Okay, let's see where this is going, my beautiful Libras. I'm also getting that the truth is very liberating. So you could just be like, because it's Sagittarius energy, you could be dealing with Sagittarius, you could have significant Sagittarius placements, they will honesty, accuracy. I feel like you're just being yourself and it's just so liberating. You're just like, I don't give a fuck how people feel, nothing. I'm doing me, I'm being myself and it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't and it will be what it will be. So be you, Libra. Because you know how many people want to be you, Libra? Do you know how many people wish that they were a Libra? Do you know? Do you know? Listen, you're coming out strong in your reading, darling. It says the Afro, balance, choices, and pathway. So whatever decision you're going to make, it's a good one, okay? I just feel like people just, I always say this to you, Libras, like people just don't understand how clever you are. You rule balance, okay? Now, people will always be like, you know, oh, Libras are indecisive, they can't make a decision. No, it's just that Libras, they sit down and they weigh the pros and the cons. You know what I mean? And because you weigh the pros and the cons, it helps you to make good decisions where other people are very impulsive and they make stupid decisions. And that's why they stay mad at you, Libra. Because like, why didn't the Libra do that? Because the Libra's not dumb. The Libra thinks about their choices before they make them. Do you know what I mean? So you're very clever. I just feel like people always underestimate you, Libra, because you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're Venusian. I feel like people think that you're a bit of an airhead, but you know what? You are an airhead because you rule air, okay? And to be an airhead is someone that is extreme, extraordinarily smart because, you know, um, <coughs> the clouds in the sky, their air, they store, but the, however, they weigh a lot. They store a lot of information, okay? So you are connected to the element of air. Therefore, you are everywhere. You can see everything. You know everything. You absorb information. People just don't be understanding but it's okay they don't have to yes darling we have the blowout it says wild sassy and big ego i feel like your ego is growing or it's about to be stroked darling people may feel like you're a bit sassy as well oh well fuck you fuck them you know what i mean yeah because they're mad they're mad their hair envy it says jealousy spite and cruelty people are mad of your ideas people could actually be jealous of your hair okay you could have a lot of hair as well i'm getting some of you may blow it out and you're like wow my hair's really grown okay just just understand that people are going to be mad as fuck but i'm getting something here about your luck is changing definitely um sagittarius energy some of you could have significant sagittarius placements okay something is expanding something is growing with the blowout energy <coughs> okay and it says wild. So like I said, I feel like you're just being yourself. People may say that you're wild, you know, just put labels on you. It's like, okay, whatever, it, like whatever, man. I'm free. That's what I am. So I feel like you're free. You're free spirited. Okay. And your freeness is helping you to expand. You're not trying to be like anybody else. I keep saying that. Individuality is so important, Libra. Okay. It really is, darling. Oh, my voice is kind of sounding a bit sexy, you know. At first, I felt like I sounded like an old man. But now I feel like I sound a bit, you know what I mean? Like, oh, hey. Because I've always wanted, like, a deeper voice. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop. I'm, I'm just being silly, guys. Okay, let's move on. Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
I'm like paranoid you're gonna see my coochie. Okay. My beautiful um Libras. I'm like, who am I reading for again? How can I forget? Come how can I forget? Oh look, Libra, 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 Libra. Do you know what just came out, Libra? Do you know what just came out, Libra? Libra. Number seven, Venus, air, relationships, justice, compromise, equilibrium, harmony, and law. I told you you're coming out strong in a your reading. Balance, beauty. I feel like you're getting some type of justice as well. Good news when it comes to money. I'm just hearing all is fair. Okay? When you're dealing with air. Oh, listen, stop it, pop it, but I'm not a rapper. Okay, listen, listen. Libras, Libras, Libras. I, just, I don't know what's happening here, but this is beautiful. I'm just getting you're getting some great news, darling. And I feel like it's fair. It's just. It is what the fuck it is. Okay, we have the angel of lust. It says desire. And then we have Oshun, the angel of beauty. I feel like you're looking up. Let me tell you, you're looking absolutely scrumptious. Okay, you're looking scrumptious, Libra. Also, there's a very attractive opportunity coming towards you, Libra. This is beautiful energy, Libra. Honestly. Now, I mean... Like I said, for some of you, you could be meeting another Libra or you're expanding with a Libra. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to calm down. Okay. I keep forgetting that my throat is sore and I'm getting too excited. Okay, but beautiful energy, okay? So I'm, I'm getting that you're getting good justice or good karma. So we have Seth Hart, goddess of writing, knowledge, intellect, scribing words, scrolls, ancient wisdom and feathers. Listen. Listen. I told you this is in a row of oh so clever. I told you you're connect you are an airhead, you're connected to the sky. So I'm getting to look in the clouds. There may be a message for you. You may also notice like a feather falling from the sky out of nowhere. That is a message, okay? That is also a confirmation that your angels are around you, okay? But I'm getting like a very clever piece of writing. So some of you could be writers. I just heard authors or illustrators or something. Okay. Or you're going to receive some type of like message or download. Okay. But you have no idea how clever. I just feel like people just don't know how smart you are, Libra. They just don't know. For some of you, you could be writing in hieroglyphics or you could be learning different languages. Like the other day, I wrote an affirmation in Latin. So you could be teaching yourself. Because my, my name... The origin of my name is Leone, by the way. It's Leone Sian. But the origin of my name is, um, well, Leone is Latin, but it was adopted later on by the French. So in French, it means the little lioness or lioness. But you have to say it in a certain way, like Leo, Leone. Um, but it's the origin of Leone is Latin, which is lioness, right? So I was thinking to myself, like, maybe I need to, like, start doing things. Anyway, I'm not going to get into what I was doing because, you know, it's not for anybody's business, but you could be looking at the origin of things and realizing how powerful certain things are when you, you, you write things or you, you um, chant things in different languages. Also, again, that Sagittarius energy, for some of you, you could have Sagittarius placements, which, you know, rules foreign land, foreign languages and things like that. You could have foreign blood in you also, okay? So I feel like you're coming up with a clever way to write or to do things. You could be coming up with your own language as well. You could also be getting a lot of downloads. Okay, so there was one time where I, un I don't know what I unlocked, but I was learning like several thousand different words in my head. Like I just kept on hearing words. And then like when I was researching them, I found out what they meant. And then like I was then asking source like, okay, how do you say this? And then they will tell me the word and when I'd research it, it would be the answer to my question. So for some of you, I feel like you're really unlock unlocking a part of your mind that like it's, it's going to sound so crazy to people. Like no, people are not going to believe it. They're just not going to believe you. They don't have to. This is why it's good for you to keep information to yourself. We have the psychic at the bottom of the deck. It's a seer, clairvoyant, aware, preternatural, telepathy, mentalist, inner knowing and mastermind. Exactly. This is you, Libra. You're unlocking a different, listen, activation, darling. That's all I have to say. They're saying to me, I can't even say too much because you just don't know who's watching. Because I feel like you've got a lot of people after you, Libra. A lot of people want to know your information. They want to know what you know and how you know it. It's like you are divine law. You are connected to the cosmos. Without balance, the world would be like this. People would be like this. So you are connected to everything. This is what people don't understand. We have the witch underneath that. Yeah, people could be saying that you're a witch.
because you're very mystical. It says enchantress, power, magic, witchcraft, spell work, conjure, alchemy, illusion, bewitchment, and chant. I said that for some of you. You need to chant things, especially like in your native tongue. Where are you from? It, it gives power to what you're saying. <clears throat> so like when I speak in Jamaican, I notice that it gives more power in my readings. Like, you know, people will speak to me or come at me in a different way when I speak like that. I can't speak because, um, you know, Patois, everyone thinks that Patois is Jamaican. Patois is also broken French, which is what my um, St. Lucian side speak. Um, but I just say Creole because when you say Patois, the uneducated people, they just think about Jamaican, right? But Patois is actually broken French. So um, that is something that I am trying to adopt to learn as well. So that, you know, because I've got you know, I'm, I'm Caribbean, I have different languages and shit, so I need to be in touch with that also, and so do you, so for some of you, you could have different bloodlines, you know, and you're trying to embrace your culture, that is really going to help, especially when it comes to writing, conjuring, any type of manifestation work, okay, it's going to help you to expand in some type of way by embracing yourself, this is why I always say to people that they need to embrace their roots, okay because it 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 it, it helps it it um <coughs> excuse me it amplifies your connection to source okay and it helps you to tap into your power you know you're less controllable when you are connected to your true self when you're trying to adopt a different persona a different personality you become a puppet do you know what i mean okay so let's just get the tarot so beautiful energy here so i feel like your psychic gifts and abilities are heightening for some of you you could be a psychic okay you could be a reader or a spiritual practitioner i feel like you're so on point it's unbelievable like you're just on point okay so your your knowledge is expanding it's growing okay the queen of wands flipped over so like i said for some of you very powerful that's the queen of magic the queen of power the queen of sex appeal Okay, so let's just see what's going on. She came out again. In my deck, she's called the Empress of Passion. So I'm telling you, you're, 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 you're just fine as fuck. Some of you, you could have Leo Sagittarius or Aries placements. I feel like your beauty is expanding as well. Your creative ideas are expanding. Okay, this is beautiful energy, Libra. You just you just hot, sexy, and feisty man or which man or woman watching this, it doesn't matter. Beautiful energy. But yeah, you're fantastic. I just feel like you have fantastic creative ideas. And you just need to continue to harness those ideas, Libra. And like I said, keep them to yourself. You know what I mean? Don't tell anyone what you're doing, just continue to create. You know why? Because you are an absolute star. You are also favored by the divine by the ethers, the connection to source. You are here to be an inspiration. You are here to speak your truth, darling. And there you are with the justice. Some of you could have significant um, Aquarius placements or you could be dealing with one. I feel like you're so inspiring. I'm getting for some of you, you're going to like change the world with something that you're doing. Something to do with like humanity or you're healing something. You could be healing your bloodline because in my deck, these, this, the ones are the indigenous beauty. So for some of you, you know, something about your, your blood is indigenous. <coughs> okay. You may find out that you're connected to like, you know, the first man or the first woman or something like that. Especially if you have like, um, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that, Libra. Find out where you're from, okay. It's very important. Very important. Okay. Beautiful energy. But you're healing people with your powers, with your magic. So we have the seven of wisdom. Yeah, so someone is going to try and steal your ideas. So like I said, keep something to yourself. That's your strategy. Now, in the this is in the oh-so-clever row. So with the seven of wisdom, the seven of swords, this could just indicate that you are very, very clever. People just don't know. People have no idea how strategic you are. They just don't know, Libra. They just don't know. Again, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But if you're hiding something and you're keeping something to yourself, that's a strategy. Okay, you could be using sex appeal as well. Like people may feel like you're very sexy, very attractive, very cutesy, and that you're, that's part of your strategy. You're like, yeah, I want people to keep thinking that because you know when people focus on the outside, they don't 
they don't try to figure out what's going on within because they think nothing's going on there so that's like your mask libra so i feel like you're learning to use your beauty to your advantage rather than seeing it as like a a curse you're seeing it as like a blessing because for some of you you could feel like that your sex appeal is a curse because it's like that's all people focus on you know you can't have a normal conversation about someone wanting to talk about fucking or someone just being obsessed with how you look but i feel like you're learning how to use that to your advantage you're learning how to use your venusian energy because that's what you rule so you need to embrace that but there are some people or someone here that really wants to steal your ideas because they're very jealous of you but it's okay I feel like you're I feel like you're you're clever enough to outsmart someone here because you will discernment Libra. So you already know you already know that people are gonna want to steal your ideas, steal your swag, steal your energy. You already know that. And when you're very creative, you just continue to reinvent yourself. You're like, okay, a bitch is about to copy. What's next? I already know, knew that I foresaw that like six months ago. I knew these bitches were gonna, you know, cap my trend. So you know what I mean? I'm already in the future. Especially if you've got um aquarius placements you're futuristic you know what i mean you know what's coming yeah we have the page of wealth and the wheel of fortune i'm telling you darling something is coming money fortune luck the will really is in your favor libra you have no idea and you are extremely gifted for some of you this could be a small business as well somebody may want to purchase something from you some of you like i said you could be tarot readers you could be designing cards as well someone is going to order a deck from you or somebody may want to um, invest in you. <coughs> okay. Invest in your talent. Somebody may want to pay you for your service. Now, let's clarify the seven of wisdom. I'm also getting, you're going to get some proof about something. You're also going to figure out that something was a lie. Something about um, ancient history. You're going to find out the truth about something. And you're going to be like, wow, that's really clever. Like, how they like, you know... Like, you're going to realize how um, profound and amazing, but also very dangerous something is, okay, with the mastermind energy. Or this is you. Someone is going to realize this about you. This could also be you realizing this about yourself. You're like, wow. I mean, I knew I was smart, but shit, nigga. Okay, please come find the seven of wisdom. Yeah, the magician. You're going to find out a lie or some type of manipulation tactic here, okay? Or this is you. You're strategizing here. Like I told you, you're very powerful. For some of you, you could be scryers or you need to um, you need to work with crystal balls or you're going to see something crystal clear. But it's almost like you can see some type of illusion that has been put over humanity or over a particular city. I just heard a state. Some of you could be from America. Okay. I just feel like, listen... I feel like you're so, it's almost like you're so honest, you're a liar. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, something is so, something is so amazing. It's, it's like, it's unbelievable. This is you, or you're going to find the truth about your power or something. Okay? The Hierophant. We have two major arcanas here. It says coming soon. I can't see what that says. But yeah complete and utter devotion and respect okay i'm hearing something about the elders okay for some of you definitely are spiritual gurus okay or you need to be there's proof and evidence in something that you're doing or something that you're saying okay i'm also getting a contract you know someone is going to present you with some type of contract okay or there's someone in the higher powers that's watching you and they're very impressed by you, Libra. Or this is you watching somebody. This is a beautiful reading. Okay, so we have shadow work. It says face your inner demons. Yeah. I feel like you are like the shadow master. I feel like people have to face you. I also feel like you've done the work, Libra. You've done the work. Your new moon, new me cycles. The cycle will repeat itself until the lesson is learned. Exactly. You are the lesson. I always say that Libras are the lesson and the blessing. Okay. Privilege, special treatment. Listen. And then we have festivities, a reason to celebrate. I'm telling you, you're going to be celebrating something, Libras, here. But you have divine privilege and you have no idea. This is why people are trying to hide you. People don't want you to be seen. People don't want you to uncover your power. 
Okay, but you will. But you're going to find a clever way to mask it is kind of what I'm seeing here, okay? Or to use something to your advantage, okay? It says you need to put in the work. Yeah, you've put in the work. With the shadow work and you need to put in the work, you've done that. I feel like now your your mission here now is to um to bring to how can I say to reflect people's shadow sides onto onto them themselves. You know, with the the ball here, you're showing like you show people the truth. And it's time to treat yourself. I'm telling you, Libras, I don't know what's going on here, okay? But you're gonna treat you're gonna you're going to have enough abundance to be able to treat yourself and people around you, okay? Or you're being spoiled by the universe. And you're the best, period. I told you. I said that in the beginning, Libra. Oh, so lucky. And you're the best, period. You are the best, period. Like, if anybody tells you any anything different, they're a liar and they're hating. They're jealous. You are, you're the best, period. Especially when, when it comes to your mind. You're a mastermind, Libra. Like, you have to understand this, Okay? And you deserve the very best. Listen, stop it, pop it. We have, you're the best, period. And then we have, you deserve the very best. And that's what the fuck you're going to get with the privilege. Empress energy. What the empress wants, the empress gets. Period. You're the best Libra. I, I started the reading saying that, and the readings end in saying that. You see me shuffle the cards, okay? It says I am vigilant. Yeah. So I'm hearing something about watch your back. <coughs> also, a lot of people have eyes on you, but you are protected. Okay. And I am happy. Exactly. Some of you, like I said, you could have Leo placements. You're going to be so happy, Libra. So happy. And I am a magician. I'm telling you. I'm also getting something about cards. Could be playing cards here. Underneath that, we have I am spiritually gifted. We have I embrace my culture and uniqueness. Miss Emikia, Emikia. Libra, Libra, Libra. It's interesting. This card was all the way over there by itself. Oh, so serious. So, um, I'm hearing not to take yourself seriously. Or people may have not been taking you seriously, Libra. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Libra. What do we have? Leadership role. You've been given this position for a reason and you're doing your very best. Okay? Fire. Your fire, everything fire. Some of you, like I said, you have fire placements. Okay? You can attract what you want. You have that spark. You have that energy, Libra. Beautiful. Leadership role. Something was given to you. I feel like you're a leader and you're the best. You're the best of the best or one of the best. Or you're going to be working with the best. But this is about you, Libra. You're the best. People need your energy. You have to remember that. Like I said in my, in my collective reading, you are the prize. Yeah, the veil. You can see past the veil, Libra. You can see the truth beyond the lies, darling. And that's what you're here to reveal to people. This is what someone is presenting to the world, but this is what they truly are. I'm also getting something about an ageless beauty. You are like an old soul, but you have youthful skin. Okay, so that could be another reason as to why people talk to you a certain type of way. It's like, you don't know that I have the mind of a Pisces. Pisces is the 12th zodiac sign. It's the oldest sign. It's not even a person. It's a subconscious mind. Some of you could have Pisces in your ninth house. Or you could have um, Pallas in Pisces in the last degree. You are both the truth and the illusion. Listen, man, people, they just don't understand, man. They don't understand, Libra, man. Karma, listen, stop it, prophet. You are karma. You know what? My, my, my thing is over there, right? But <coughs> I had this poem, this download that I wrote down, right? Um, and I read it out in one of my collective readings, which is called You Are an Enigma to the um to the weak and a miracle to the wise that message was for you libra you may want to go back and find that video and listen to it but karma and you see on this card it says 100 not times 10 but times 100 underneath that we have death magic and then we have earth angel i keep saying that i feel like somebody's trying to put cast death magic 
on an earth angel here, but you can't kill a spirit because it's already dead. Think about it. Not karma times 10, darling, karma times 100. That's what you are, Libra. You're here to spread the truth, to reveal the truth. Lead, Libra. Do what you do best, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye.